Hi everybody, Mark Cleghorn here for the Academy and today we're shooting an American be uh, beauty style of image. Uh, I'm so excited, we just finished it in fact, uh, Kelsey's just gone off to get changed, we're going to shoot some more for uh, kind of a little bit more development but you won't be seeing that. Uh, basically what we're going to be photographing on is uh, red and white, okay. As far as the setup is concerned, uh, we're just using two lights, okay, equally powered. They're running from the 11 and the 2 o'clock position, or the 1 o'clock position. So in other words, remember, Kelsey's the middle of the o'clock, camera position is the 6 o'clock, and then basically from there, they're kind of uh, aligned. Why? Because we're looking for this almost kind of semi-silhouette kind of uh, lighting coming across them. There's no frontal light at all. Images that you're going to be seeing, we're shooting initially on 125th of a second um, to actually freeze all the petals as they fall. Then we're going to do two slow-mo kind of looks, one which is shot on a 15th, but pretty much we've settled on the 8th of a second as our favourite kind of look to it. The only thing that we're doing, once we get down to the 8th of a second, uh, even the 5th, 15th of a second as well, in fact, we were killing the video lights that they use here to actually just give some illumination for them. Uh, so as far as the shot is concerned, I think you're going to love it. Um, also in the middle, you're going to see a bit of my kind of alien, out of focus stuff that I used to do with Polaroids. Uh, and basically then I shot them in digital and everything else with it and things. You're either going to like it, you hate it hate it, doesn't matter, you do things for your own love, not everybody else's. Um, but yeah, I think you will love this film though, and especially if you're just getting going in boudoir photography, or you're looking to inspire yourself or inspire uh, your clients a little bit more, this is an impact image. It takes a little bit of work, I need obviously some assistance to actually kind of throw the petals in and so on with it, but equally I'm sure we could rig up a bag of petals and actually pull a release cord. I'm sure there'd be a way if you're working alone. Um, or, of course, we work with the digital background. But I think the thrill of the experience for the client, never mind for the model Kelsey today, uh, is the actual shot being done and things, really. And, uh, again, I think it's just a, a really, really special kind of photograph. Hope you enjoy it. Um, remember, set up white paper on the floor, white wall, red paper, seam uh, seamless. It's my favourite part of the shoot, to be honest, even though it's the end. Sorry about that. Um, but basically, um, the petals are just bought, uh, bought in from on online stores. Uh, obviously, in present circumstances, if you were doing this several times a day, uh, you would need to make sure that you've got several fresh packs of petals to obviously meet any kind of restrictions that you need. I had fun. You're going to enjoy it because I loved it. And I'm sorry about the chatter with my team as we're going through the shoot. But uh, at least you'll be able to actually see how we're kind of thinking and develop it. And I haven't shot American be uh, Beauty style of photographs. And obviously the American Beauty comes from the film. Um, and again, it's a, an iconic kind of uh, series of film stills and a bit of video that is kind of mixed in with that film. And I just absolutely love it. And I've shot it many times during the years. Uh, but I haven't shot it for a couple of years. So it's really nice to do it again. Enjoy it. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Um, just got the deep dish reflector dishes ready. Uh, I'm going to do kind of pretty much uh, both, in fact. I want to see what the difference is. It's been a while since I've shot American Beauty style. Um, and obviously, I really want to actually minimise the light. I can either use um, honeycomb uh, or deep dish reflector dishes and things, really. I usually use these. All right, but for now, as I said, let's uh, just use the normal reflector dishes because that's probably what you've got. Both of these uh, background lights uh, are both now in the same power. Uh, I've got no frontal light running at all, so there's no other light. It is just the rear because I do want, obviously, all this drama coming from behind. Because uh, we're going to be working on uh, the paper. Um, Instead of the vinyl, don't want to actually mark it. Okay, so there. It's five six, bang on. Five six, bang on. So I'm just going to point point this down a little bit more. Okay, uh, Kelsey, I'm really sorry. It's quite cold down there, right? At least it is on my feet. <laughs> so I gather it's going to be cold on you, uh, Brandon. If you can just. Do you know what? I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use the 24 to 105 lens to save my back. Okay, uh, Kels, let's go into the middle 
And if we're going to lay on our back, please, with a head up towards either end, it's probably better towards that end. Uh, oh, yeah, just switched off. Um, you're horizontal, so you're actually, there you go. Move down that way a little bit more. Um, we've got a little bit crea uh, creative. Uh, Honor stuck a few of the petals together, and now um, Kelsey's attached them to a boob, so we've got kind of natural nipple covers, no matter what with it and things, really. So, F5-6. Let's have a little look, and then I'll keep um, you guys free. Kelsey, can you come up to me a little bit more, please, Danny? Make sure they stay on, yeah? The... Um, slightly move the feet that towards the back. There you go. Horizontal. Keep it. Let's do a quick uh, test to see what it's like. It's lovely. Um, let's put those deep dish reflectors on for me, can we, Brandon? And if we can gaffer just this front of this white as well, I think. I can't get up, in fact. I'll go do the other one. And I think I just need three strips of gaffer running on the front. We usually use the vinyl, and that stops having to gaffer tape anything down because uh, it's weighty. Um, we can see already we're beginning to actually kind of knock that background out more. Probably going to move up to me a little bit more, please, uh, Kelsey. No, horizontal, lay it flat. That's okay, go on, keep going. Uh, remember, if you're live on Facebook with us, there was also a link for go to meeting. So if you want to ask any questions at the end of the kind of the shoot, then we can kind of do that anyway. Let's just move this into the head a little bit. Just point it a little bit higher. I'm having this just kind of shoot over the top of her instead of actually just directly down onto the paper. Honor is just at a shot, ready to come on in to actually be petal girl. So we'll look at that. Okay. So I'm sorry if you can't see me, but you don't really need to see where I am. Ah. Quick test again. So Kelsey's not going to be looking at me at all. She's going to be looking pretty much up the whole time. Yes, yeah, pretty good to be honest. Um, I wonder if you could just turn the television around to me just a little bit more, please, if you could. Bradden, I'm going to get down a little bit lower so I can move that horizon line. The one thing I would say is obviously if you could use paper that kind of gives you an infinity curve, it'll make it a lot easier for you anyway. Uh, to kind of create it, or even use the black. We, we are going to move over to the red uh, once we've kind of shot this kind of first starting point, but uh, we usually shoot it on white anyway, so let's get going. Kels, when we're doing it, let's just have one hand back, I think. Yeah, um, in fact, if we use this hand near your nickel line, that'll hide the pant. It's all, almost invisible anyway, and let's kind of get that one there. Let's look in straight up towards the top. Let me just kind of go into my slug position. Uh, Kels, can you move the legs away from me a little bit more? There you go, let's try it. Uh, one knee up higher than the other, please, if you could. Let's have a little look. So, um, yeah, it's pretty good there. Let's do it. A couple of shots first. Kels, let's... Uh, Move that hand fully for me. Bring it back down by the pant, no, the other one by the head. Bring it back down again towards the pant line. That's lovely, just there. Turn the nose up fully for me. Keep it. Once more. Uh, arch up with the back for me. Push the nose backwards as well, that's lovely. Keep it. And relax. Okay, Kels. Let's get some petals coming in. Brandon, if you go the head end. Uh, and Honor, if you go down the feet end, please. Just gonna be working slight. Do you wanna give him shoes off, please, if you're gonna be on white?
and just actually grab a handful, then split it between the two of you. Okay, remember, close in, please. Guys, I'll tell you where you've got to go. Back off, Bran. Back off, dude. Go in close on, or I can't see you yet. Okay, remember to throw them up and in towards the middle. Ready, Kels? I'm going to shoot about a dozen shots as they're coming down. Split them into two hands, guys. And you're going to basically separate them. One is slightly behind her, and then the other one is uh, uh, kind of really thrown above. F fly them as high as you can, yeah? One, two, three, go. Brilliant. Okay, leave those there. Grab, uh, grab some more, please. Today would be good. And this time we're going to be throwing them behind her. Okay, so go again in, please, guys. One, two, three, go. Brilliant. Okay, nice. Um, what I would definitely do, if this is the set, uh, the setup, guys, was there any more? Okay. Um, I was going to say, what I would do is actually do this shot as well without the model in place, so you could actually have your, choose your perfect image with all the petals in place if it's going to be lit in the same way all the time and things. Okay, let's do one more then, please. Kels, let's actually um, bend the knees a little bit more. So you're all, all, almost going to push, roll away from me. There you go. Uh, use the one hand to the boobs, I think, which is going to be the other one. That's lovely. And looking up high with the eyes closed, darling, okay? Uh, one, two, three, go. Oh, that was good, guys. Brilliant. Okay, nice. So, obviously, we want them kind of lower than not. Um, we're going to have to get picking them up in a minute, but let's not do that yet. Okie doke. Thanks, bud. So, um, just want to get a little bit of height as well. So we can kind of shoot it. This is where you can look at me anyway. Uh, let's just see the shot first, yeah? A quick look on the TV. It's great. Let's uh, do, um, bend this um, right knee as well for me. Can we? There you go. Almost twist the hip. That's it, more. And turn, just squeeze the boob a little bit together. There you go. Straight up to me again, darling. I think it's just a little bit too. I need to get up higher, I think, to actually get the full. Oh, no, I've got it. That's great. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, Omer, is there anywhere I need to um, fill in? Yeah, do you think we need. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Let's, let's do that. Do you think we need to fill in some of the holes as well? Yeah. Yeah, and just behind that leg over there, can you see it? Behind there's a bit of a hole there. No, behind the knee. Can you see from me where that knee is? That little space. What do you think, Mike? Do you think that's too many? No, it's cool. What about one or two on the feet or something like that? And can you see the shape of the foot the other um See where her foot is flat and it points? Yeah. It almost looks like a shape. Yeah. No, beyond that, the other side. Can you just put a few there? That's it. You're cold. Yeah. It's cold on that floor, isn't it? <laughs> I, I didn't realise until I took off my shoes. It's very weird work, working in shoes nowadays, anyway. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it at me. Eyes closed, darling. Looking away. Keep it. Love it. Okay, let me just go to my, fifth, my 50 prime. And um, basically, I'm going to shoot out focused. I uh, might need to reduce down. Uh, we're going to do some long shutter speeds in a minute. Have we got any more petals left in there? Brill, okay. Uh, let me shoot some out of focus stuff first anyway. Let me just reduce all these down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's down to 
uh, 2.8 quick test. I'm going to underexpose it as well. Okay, eyes closed down. Um, I've actually got in my house a four panel um, based on American Beauty that I did years ago. I'm going to change the 85 because that will out, out focus it more. Um, when I was retired, I was doing a series, series called Alien Nudes. Uh, focus off. Um, Alien Nudes. 7200 mil lens, 2.8. Uh, began when I was shooting Polaroids, in fact. Uh, when I... When I retired from the commercial photography, uh, I had absolutely huge amounts of Polaroid left. And I was doing a, seri a series on television for HDV called uh, Next Top Model. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's not the one that you all know, but it was kind of looking at Welsh models and everything else. Like that. Kels, I love that. Uh, and basically, a part of my kind of shot was Polaroids out of focus and kind of just uh, doing the variety. They'd seen a, a little bit of an exhibition. I'm not going to talk much because Kelsey's going to get bored and cold. So, okay, let's grab some more then. Should we um, on? I, I'd see, I love that. Um, I hate the piece on your hair, though. Who, whose idea was that? Can you remove it? <laughs> Please. Right, before we do that, Brandon, I need you to uh, switch your lights off. I want to minimise lighting in here. I'm going to turn the modelling bulbs down a touch. Um, obviously, we're going to just really change the exposure. So we, want, we need some light. Thanks, Tom. There we go. Okay, let's try it. Who's cleaning up this afterwards, anyway? <laughs> Let me do a, a test shot first. So, um, we were working on 125th of a second before. Let's work on a 15th. That should give us enough. Uh, okay. Throw them high, guys, okay? Ready, Kels? Arch the back, please, fully. One, two, three, go. And again. Ready? One, two, three, go. Brilliant, thank you. Oh, I like those. Do you like that? Do you prefer it? I think it would look great on red, wouldn't it? Great, okay. Um, let's get you out of here for a minute. Kels, can you grab her a coat for a minute? Uh, let's clean up this. Let's get him back in the thing. Just while, uh, Are we on screen, Bradlin? Brill, just another quick. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, I really do like this kind of blur, and I think we should shoot that, you know, without uh, Kelsey in place as well. So if we needed a digital petals, I, I actually prefer the 15th, I think, that motion blur here. It's a good clump as well. I think Brandon was a little bit behind in throwing, or he threw bigger. I kind of really quite like the uh, shape there. I think the benefit of having a digital petal um, is that obviously we know where they're going to be, we know where the body's going to be, then you can concentrate on just laying it out on the floor. 
uh, yeah, that's essential, that, isn't it?